Hi guys, welcome to another video of physics. In this case, we're going to transform a vector that is in polar form to rectangular form. And this is the example that we have. The vector velocity vector equals 15 meters per second at 160 degrees. So the thing that we are going to find are the drawing, the quadrant, the x component, and the y component. Okay, so let's start with the Cartesian plane. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I hope you guys, uh, you're following me here too, so you can draw the Cartesian plane in your notebook. This is the Cartesian plane. This is the x-axis, the y-axis. I'm gonna fill it with information, zero degrees, 90 degrees, uh, 180 and 270. It's not necessary that every time that you are going to make a drawing of a vector that you fill all the information, uh, the Cartesian plane. I'm just doing this because uh, this is the first time that um, that you are doing this. But if you feel like you already know it, um, you can skip all this information. The first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Um, okay, so next, what I'm going to do is to locate this vector what 160 degrees. So 160 degrees must be between 90 and 180, 180 degrees. Uh, I'm not going to do it so accurate. I mean, just between 90 and 180. So the vector from the region, remember that it starts from the region. So I'm gonna draw it just like this. This is the velocity vector. And the angle is this one. This is the angle over here. The angle, the total angle that is measured from zero degrees. And the rectangular components, guys. Remember that the rectangular components are going, are going to start also from the origin. So Bx goes to the left. Why to the left? Because the vector is pointing to the left. This is Bx and this is By pointing upwards because the vector is pointing upwards. And this is By. Okay, so this, oh, yes, and this is the drawing, guys. This is the drawing of the Cartesian plane, so check mark, and also, well, the vector is in the second quadrant, second quadrant, check, check. Now, um, let's make the drawing. I mean, I, all, I like to make the, the, the triangle, I really like it. And as I said before, it's not necessary. If you already understand this topic, it's okay if you don't want to do it, but I like to do it. So this is the vector. Remember that the vector is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And then I got um, BX and then I got BY. This is BX and this is by okay so um let's write the formula to find bx remember that bx equals the magnitude of the vector times the cosine of the angle and by equals the magnitude of the vector times the sine of the angle now the angle, guys, that we are going to use, the angle, this angle is the total angle. Very, very, very important. It's the total angle. So that means that is the angle that is measured from zero degrees. Because we can also try to use this little angle over here, this one over here. But if we do that, we need to do more operations in order to uh, get the exact answers that we want. So yes, it is possible, but I recommend you to use always in this 
two formulas over here i recommend you to use always the total angle okay so let's substitute b is 15 so it's going to be 15 meters per second times the cosine of the angle which angle the total angle that is 160 degrees okay so 160 degrees and by is 15 times the sine of 160 degrees okay let's do it in a calculator so right here i got my virtual calculator so i'm going to perform these operations make sure you have your calculator at hand so let's begin with this um, operation over here and uh, the first one is 15 times the cosine of uh, 160 okay so i press equal and this is the answer minus 14.0953 okay i'm going to use four decimals make sure that you uh, write this answer please in your notebook okay now i'm going to use the i'm going to do the next operation that is 15 that is the magnitude of the vector times the sine of 160 degrees okay so that answer must be 5.1303 remember i told you where we're going to use uh, four digits and make sure that your calculator is in degrees okay let's write the answers that we got so the x component equals minus 14.0953 meters per second remember that the components are going to have the same units as the vector and then by equals 5.1303 meters per second okay and those are the answers but um i gotta tell you one important thing remember that a vector is a physical quantity that has magnitude and direction now you can say that um bx for example is just a number it doesn't have a direction yes it has the direction is the sign the sign so if you see this is negative okay so the direction in this case means this if bx is positive that means that the vector goes to the right or bx goes to the right if it's negative so that means bx goes to the left now it, it happens the same thing with, with by if by is positive that means that goes upwards by negative goes downwards so remember the number itself is just the magnitude and the sign of the number is a direction so take a look of the drawing if you see bx goes to the left that's right that's why it's negative and by goes upwards so that's why uh, by is positive okay so this was the first example the first problem when we transform polar form into rectangular form in the next video we're going to see the opposite rectangular form to polar form okay well see you in the next video guys bye bye